Hello everyone, it's Butter Bob. This video is called That Lying, Cheating, No Good Scale. Every single day I get a letter from somebody who has been completely defeated. They've done well for a little while and all of a sudden the scale's not moving. Not moving at all. You know I tell them the same thing every time. This scale, this scale is no good. It does not tell you about fat loss. It tells you your overall weight, but that doesn't tell you if you're being successful. And plus, it's expensive and it defeats your whole attitude. You know what's so much better than that? Let me tell you. Look at what's around my neck. Ha! Huh. This is a fabric. A fabric measure. A fabric tape measure. And I got one with big numbers, so I don't have to have my glasses on to see it. And I bought this thing at Walmart today in the Hobby Fabric Crafts area. Give $2.50 for it. They had the ones with smaller print for about $1.50. You could probably find them at the dollar store anywhere, uh, discount place in the craft section. And the reason I went and bought a new one today is because I've had my other one so long, I didn't know for sure if you could go buy one. And I wanted to make sure that you guys would know where to go get one if you didn't have one. Listen, this is very important. This diet is a fat loss diet. It, it attacks the fat in your body. But guess what, guys? Did you know you could be 100 pounds overweight and be deficient in nutrition? And that's just not me saying that. There was a study done a few years ago called the malnutrition of obesity, macronutrient deficiencies that promote diabetes. And listen guys, this is some startling numbers here. And these are just a few vitamins and minerals that obese people and type two diabetes people have in common. And some of them are really, really uh, eye-opening. Uh, obese people are, between 15 and 29% of obese people are deficient in B1. But listen to this, type 2 diabetes uh, people, between 17 and 79% are deficient in B1. Uh, obese people are deficient in B12, between 3 and 8%. But type 2 diabetes people are 22% are deficient in B12. Now, here's the one that's going to get you. Vitamin D, obese people. 80 to 90% of obese people are deficient in vitamin D. And 85 to 90% of type 2 diabetes people are deficient. And type 2 diabetes people are uh, deficient in chromium, between 20 and 40%. And obese people are deficient in selenium. About 58% of those of obese people are deficient in selenium. Now listen, why am I telling you all these things? Because a lot of times, a lot of times, when people first start losing weight on this diet, the scale doesn't show it. And it is my opinion that people are actually gaining some lean weight, some lean tissue. You know, they've been starving, literally, for a long time, even though they were overweight, because their body is diverting a lot of their nutrition towards fat. And when that stops, the body suddenly has an energy source that it can use to build tissue. Now, this is my opinion, but I think some of these uh, statistics show that this is what's going on. But how can you know if you're really doing any good? You do it with this tape measure. And guys, if you will do this, if you will do the, these tape measure measurings of your body, especially in your fat areas, you will have something that was going to sustain you. Because one of these days, you're going to start out good and you're going to lose weight every day, whatever. One of these days, the scale is going to show you're up a pound or you haven't lost in a week. Well, you need to be doing these measurements. Listen, guys, it's really easy. It's a cheap thing. If you're a woman, you need to, and or a man, but women, you need to measure uh, probably right at the nipple area, at the belly button area, and at the widest part of your 
hips right in through there. You need to find the areas that you're fat in and keep a record of those areas with this tape measure. And believe me, when that scale doesn't show movement, but there's movement here, and this has got the metric side on the other side for y'all in uh, Australia and the UK and other places, everywhere except the US. <laughs> but you need to find out where that is and, and keep those measurements, especially in the fat areas, because that is where you're gonna lose weight on this diet. And if you know you're losing weight in that area, then that scale cannot crush your dream. It cannot, it cannot lie to you and tell you that you're failing because this is a much better and more accurate way to find out how to do this. And listen, guys, this is another important thing. I, I tell people to, especially men, measure right at the belly button right at the belly button, because that's an easy place, and men and women too, that's an easy place for you to remember. Don't pull the tape really tight, just pull it nice and snug around there without pushing in your fat, and, and do that. Now let me tell you something else. We're all worried about a certain weight that we have to be at, but that's not really what we look at when, when we as humans see each other. You know, there's a, there's a guy I know who, who is real muscled up. He's, uh, he's got a big chest, a big arms. He has a small waist, but I guarantee you for his height, if he was to get on the scale, he would read as overweight. But because of his body proportions, body proportions, I'm sure that a lot of men wish they look like him and a lot of people wish he was their boyfriend. See what I'm saying? Women are the same way. There are women who have uh, very nice, uh, they're well endowed, let's be family friendly, okay? And if their waistline is, is slimmer than their hips and their, and their breasts, they're gonna look great. Even though the scale shows maybe a weight that is more than what they think they should have to have. So it, there's, a, there's actually a scientific way to measure this. Uh, there's an actual way to measure if you're in a good ratio for your body. And this works on any ethnic group. It works on men, women. It works on people who are tall or short. And it's called the waist height ratio. And even artists use this. I mean. And this ratio has been found to be very scientifically accurate in predicting most of the metabolic diseases, the diseases that are, that are the cause, uh, that are caused by high insulin. And that's the main drift of what I do in, on this channel. Now I wanna read you a, stu a study about this. It was done by a Dr. Margaret Ashwell. And she, she did a study of uh, studies she did a meta, meta, meta study of many different studies that included about 300,000 adults. And she found that the waist height ratio is the best predictor of diabetes, uh, blood fat, fat problems like triglycerides and cholesterol problems, high blood pressure, and uh, most metabolic diseases that we talk about on this channel all the time. This ratio is the best predictor of it. And, and, it's, and it's really interesting to me that the same things it predicts for are the same things we talk about. They are insulin-related problems. And insulin seems to be the, the hormone, of course, that causes people to be fat, especially in the middle. You know, the weight that you carry low in your, in your hips and below, that's not near as dangerous as the weight that you carry right here in the middle. So, Here's what you want to do as far as keeping up with your weight. You want to keep up with your weight by measuring right at the belly button, measuring at the, the nipple level of your, uh, if you're a female. But to find out about this ratio, this uh, waist to height ratio, you need to get it in the thinnest part of your body or your natural waistline. And that weight, uh, waist height ratio needs to be, the ideal would be somewhere around half of your height. So 
Uh, I'm 69 inches tall. That's what I am. I've shrunk a little bit as I've gotten older. But so I'm going to, in the risk of being a little bit risque, I'm going to pull my shirt up a little bit. You want to find the place right below your lower rib and your upper part of your pelvis. And you just want to put that tape measure there and measure it. And I've got the metric side. That don't do me a bit of good. You want to measure it? 34. So that's half. That's a little less than half of what my height is. And that tells me that I'm, I have that right ratio. It doesn't matter if you have it or not. This is just a way for you to see your progress. As your, as your weight goes down, you'll see that your waistline will become closer and closer to half your height. And it doesn't matter if you're tall, short, doesn't matter what ethnic group you're in, male or female, it doesn't matter because if we look at people that we know out in the world, we don't really look at their weight. We look at how well they're proportioned. And, and this proportion of, of the waistline to the height is, is the best thing you can do. Forget the scale, guys. We're all different. We have different body shapes. You know, I, I like old movies and stuff. You'll see somebody like uh, a Mae West or a Marilyn Monroe or someone of the old Hollywood style, women-wise. These were women who carried some weight, but they were shapely. You can look at the same thing in men, men who have the right shape. You know, I, I need to work on that myself. I need a bigger chest, a bigger arms. But you'll see this, that people who have a more uh, smaller waist, but it doesn't matter if their hips are, or their chest are big, that proportion is a, is a natural thing of beauty. And, and uh, it, it can tell us a lot without that number of the scale. That number of the scale doesn't mean anything. Some people are built like uh, the old model uh, Twiggy. Some people are built more like the Mae West. Some people are built more like Arnold. Some people are built more like uh, me. So guys, I hope this has helped you. Get you a tape measure. Take your measurements, especially if you're just starting out. If you haven't been doing it, take them now because believe me, you're going to hit a so-called plateau. You're going to. But if this thing's still moving, you're not really in a plateau. No matter what that lying, cheating, dream crushing scale says. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. You know what I'm going for. My goal of getting that silver plaque. Goodbye. Fantastic, Daddy. Good job.